Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrilla.com and today we are looking at our Hollywood Racks destination for bike rack here on our 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander. Now I really like this bike rack because it's super light even though it can carry four bikes. So if you want something that is nice, compact and light but also is a platform style rack, this is a very good option for you. Let's take a look at how our bike is mounted to this bike rack. So we have three mounting points two wheel straps and one frame mount. I like this frame mount since it has like a 360 rotation. You can go up, down, run around, anything you need to do to fit your different sized frames. So if you have a step through frame or alternate frame like a women's bike or children's bike, this will work well with that. To take this off the bike rack, what I start with are the wheel straps. So press that lever and pull that strap out. I also like to rotate it downwards just so that it's out of the way. Let's go to this other wheel strap, pull that up and out of the way. Then we get to the frame mount. So when you do this one, hold on to your bike, make sure it's supported as you take this strap out and release it from the clamp. From there, you can lift the bike up and over and you're ready to go on a bike ride. With the bike off, what I like to do is put the straps back just so that they're not flopping around as I'm driving around. But before I do that, let's take a look at them. We have these wheel straps that have this nice little rubber lining on the inside just to protect your bike's wheel from those extra scuffs and scratches while you transport them. Let's ratchet them down here. See how they secure themselves to your bike's wheel. Also, these cradles can accommodate bike tire widths of up to three inches. Another feature of this bike rack is that you can put this mast down and to do so you need to loosen this knob by the mast. From there you can lift up this anchor, put that to the side, tighten this down again and then bring your mast down and what I like to do is secure it with the wheel strap from one of the cradles. So that's secure and in place. When you do have a bike rack on your vehicle though, there is some length added to the back of it. Let's take a look at how it sits on our Outlander here. So from the back bumper all the way to the end where these nice reflectors are, it sits at 43 and a half inches. Now that's a lot of length, but you are carrying around four bikes. Just keep that in mind when you are backing into your garage or parking into a tight spot. As for ground clearance, we'll measure here at the end of our bike rack. It sits at 20 and 3 quarter inches. Also note that there is a shank rise. So let's measure by the shank. Right over here, it is 10 and a half inches. Now ground clearance is something you might want to think about when you go up a steep incline like a driveway or a hill. When you don't have your bikes mounted but you want to keep your bike rack on, you can fold it up. Take this clip out and then loosen this pin by loosening this knob. Bring it all the way out. You may need to lift your bike rack a little bit just to get enough clearance to take that bolt out. But once it is, you can just let it hang there and then push up your bike rack all the way till it's aligned and then secure it again with that pin and tighten that knob and then use your clip to secure it. With it folded up, you can see there's a big difference in terms of how much length is added. Let's see exactly how much. So from our back bumper to the end of the bike rack, which is over here, it is 16 and a half inches. That's a lot of length cut down. Let's take a look at how close it comes to our vehicle here. For closest point, it would be at the middle of the bike rack. So from the bumper to where our mast sits up, it is seven inches. One thing to note is that with larger four bike platform style racks, you might have issues with covering your taillights or your rear window. Notice how you can still see your lights as well as your entire window is clear, giving you maximum visibility. This comes with an anti-rattle bolt and lock. Now it also has an included tool to tighten this down when you pop in your bike rack into your hitch receiver. 
this fits two inch hitches. You can use the tool to tighten it down, but I highly recommend picking up our performance wrench with a three quarter socket. That will make your life a lot easier. Now we're gonna go ahead and take it on our test course. First, we'll start with the slaloms. This is going to show the side to side action. It's kind of gonna mimic the movements that you'll see whenever you're driving down the road normally. Now we'll have the alternating speed bumps. This is gonna be more so like the uneven roads and some of that uneven terrain you might be traveling on and see how it holds up. My final thoughts about this bike rack is I love how it gives me the option of carrying around four bikes without getting a bike rack that's really bulky, really heavy, or at a very premium price. This is a great option if you wanna fill up your car with your whole family or all your friends and you all wanna go for a bike ride. This will take your bikes to where you need to go safely and securely. So that was a look at the Hollywood Racks destination for a bike rack here on our 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander.